Hello and welcome to Movies Games Beyond. I'm Jay and in today's video we're going to look at 15 most upcoming movies in 2022. Are you excited? Because I know I am. Scream comes in first on the 14th of January. 25 years after the original series of murders in Woodsboro, a new killer emerges and Sydney Prescott must return to uncover the truth. I am looking forward to this. I've watched them all and I'm so happy Sydney's coming back. Next up, Moonfall on the 4th of Feb. In Moonfall, a mysterious force knocks the moon from its orbit around Earth and sends it hurtling, hurtling on a collision course with life as we know it. With mere weeks before impact and the world on the brink of annihilation, NASA executive and former astronaut Joe Fowler is convinced she has the key to saving us all. But only one astronaut from her past, Brian Harper, and a conspiracy theorist, KC Houseman, believe her. These unlikely heroes will mount an impossible last-ditch mission into space, leaving behind everyone they love, only to find out that our moon is not what we think it is. Sounds good. Death on the Nile, 11th of Feb. While on vacation on the Nile, Hercule Poirot must investigate the murder of a young Kyres. Also on the 11th is Merry Me. Music superstars Kat Valdez and Bastion are getting married before a global audience of fans, but when Kat learns second before her vows that Bastion has been unfaithful, she decides to marry Charlie, a stranger in the crowd, instead. <laughs> Sounds alright, doesn't it? <laughs> Next up, Uncharted. I'm also looking forward to this. It's on the 18th of Feb. The story of the story is a prequel to the games, starring Holland as a young younger Drake, showing those details of how he came to meet and befriend Sully. Looking forward to that. Next up, I am very excited for this one, The Batman on the 3rd of March. In his second year of fighting crime, Batman uncovers a corruption in Gotham City that connects his own family while facing a serial killer known as the Riddler. Cannot wait. On the 1st of April, we have got Morbius. Biochemist Michael Morbius tries to cure himself of a rare blood disease, but he inadvertently infects himself with a form of vampirism instead. I'm going to watch that. I'm not sure if I'm excited, but I'm going to watch it. Next up, The Lost City, 15th of April. A reclusive romance novelist on a book tour with her cover model gets swept up in kidnapping attempt that lands them both in a cutthroat jungle adventure. On the fifth, also on the fifteenth of April is Fantastic Beast: The Secrets of Dumbledore, the third instalment of the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them series, which follows the adventures of Newt Scamander. Scamander, <laughs> got that wrong, Anna. Next up, and also very excited for this one is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Comes out on the sixth of May. Dr. Stephen Strange casts a forbidden spell that opens the door to the multiverse, including an alternative version of himself whose threat to humanity is too great for the combined forces of Strange, Wong and Wanda Maximoff. Can't wait. But next up is the movie I have been waiting for since I was a little boy. It comes out on the 27th of May and it is called Top Gun Maverick. After more than 30 years of service as one of Navy's top aviators, Pete Mitchell is where he belongs, pushing the envelope as a courageous test pilot and dodging the advancement in rank that would have ground him. I absolutely love Top Gun. It is one of my favourite movies of all time. I actually joined the Royal Air Force because I've watched Top Gun that many times and I love fighter jets and uh, pilots and supplies, so I'm definitely looking forward to Top Gun Maverick. I have been waiting. I am sick to death of it. Keep getting postponed. So it better not get postponed now. I want to watch it. Next up is Jurassic World Dominion on 10th of June. J.J. Abrams displaced Colin Trevorrow as director of Star Wars Episodes 4, I think it is, or 9, 4, yeah. Returning to finish out the trilogy he started. Now, Terrell does the same as he voyages back to the changed Jurassic World. At the end of the Fallen Kingdom, dinosaurs left the island park behind for good. Four years later, it really is a Jurassic world with dino species wrecking havoc around the globe. I can't wait for this as well, guys. When it finished last time on the last one, 
and it showed the T-Rex roaring against the lion. <laughs> it's so funny. I can't wait for seeing them all. It's all different animals and humans all running around. Next up on the 17th of June is Lightyear. And the Pixar train keeps moving. Just three months after the last release comes a Toy Story spin-off, whose trailer has had audiences everywhere cheering with resounding cries of, huh? Yes, this is more serious, though seemingly still family-friendly. Right, riff on Buzz Lightyear, the astronaut from Toy Story Quadrology. Next up, another one I'm really looking forward to, one of my favourites, in fact, he is my favourite Marvel character, is Thor Love and Thunder. Comes out on 8th of July. In terms of continuing to start in feature films, Thor turns out to be the last Avenger standing. The original Captain America has settled down with Peggy. Iron Man and Black Widow are dead. Hawkeye has passed the torch to Kate Bishop. The Hulk may soon do the same to for She-Hulk and can't star in solo movies due to contractual snar. But Thor has gone on to star in a fourth film directed by Ragnarok's Taiki Waiti, bringing back Jane, Natalie Portman, his beloved from the first two Thor movies. I love Thor. I think he's an awesome Avenger. I think he's an awesome superhero. And he's funny. The movies are funny, which makes it more interesting. It's got action in it, and they're fun. So, can't wait for that. Next up, looking forward to this as well, because um, who doesn't love The Rock? And he stars in on in Black Adam on the 29th of July. The future arc nemesis of Zachary Levi's Shazam gets his own pre-spin-off in Black Adam, a project that's been earmarked for Dwayne Johnson for over a decade, well before the Shazam movie came, in, came to fruition in 2019. Johnson's Black Adam shares powers with Shazam, though presumably his non-superheroic identity is not a teenage boy, and he has seemed to set square off with other DC heroes, including Atom Smasher, Noah Centineo, and Hawkman, Aldis Hodge. June collects Sarah re-teams with Johnson after the, their success with last year's Jungle Cruise. But yeah, looking forward to this because um, I love The Rock. Grew up watching him in um, in wrestling and followed him in his movies. Love him. Um, and I watched an interview where he, where he reckons he could take on Superman. Now, Superman's my favourite. And if it came down to Black Adam, The Rock versus Henry Cavill's Superman... I am backing Emmy Cavill Superman. Because Superman all the way. Let us know in the comments what you think. Who would win out of that, yeah? And that is it, guys, for um, the movie, the 15 most upcoming movies um, are you looking forward to? Which ones are you looking forward to the most? Let us know in the comments below. And um, it's an exciting year, guys, isn't it? Um, but, yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And... Um, until next time, guys, thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.